Hey lovies, here's a book about bugs that start with A and go all the way to Z. Let's take a look. Whether they're flying, crawling, hopping, bugs are special creatures. Let's take a look at bugs from A to Z. A is for ants. We looked at them yesterday. They live together in groups called colonies. Then you have tiny little bugs, these little things called aphids. They live on plants. Can you see them? They're very tiny and they're green so that they blend in or they camouflage. And then there's a bee for bees. They have five eyes and none of them can see the color red. Then there's butterflies. We talked about this yesterday. It sucks food through its tongue and it tastes food with their feet. C for caterpillars. Caterpillars are all, they have 13 segments. All these little spots, see these little spots? It's called a segment. And they have six eyes on the side of its head. Crickets sleep during the day and they're awake at night. They rub their wings together to make a noise. And you have your dragonflies. Dragonflies have six legs, but they can't walk. And here is a dung beetle. Dung beetles eat poop. They roll it into small balls before they eat it. Ew, dung beetles. E is for an earwig. They like to hide. They don't go in ears, don't worry. It's just their names. They fit into small places. E for emperor dragonfly. They live near rivers and lakes and the males or the boys have blue bellies and the females or the girls have green bellies. F is also for firefly. Fireflies we see in the summer and they light up outside. Large groups work together and they blink at the same time. <gasps> A f F for fly also. We looked at flies yesterday. Flies cannot eat solid food. Remember, they taste with their feet. Ooh, G, right, Grace? Your G for a glow worm. A glow worm, see how it lights up over here? Some glow blue-green color and some glow a yellow-green color. Here's a grasshopper. They're known for jumping. They can jump more than mommy or daddy's height at the same time. Oh, that's really far. If mommy laid down, the grasshopper could grow, jump as far as mommy or daddy. That's crazy. H is a for a hornet. Hornets kind of like a bee. They chew on wood and they make nests in things with a paste when they chew it. Hornworm. Oh, it kind of looks like a caterpillar, but do you see its horn right here? Hornworms are some of the largest caterpillars. They can grow to be four inches long. That's almost as long as your finger, mommy's finger. I, oh, we learned about I yesterday. I for inchworm. Not all inch, inchworms are not worms at all. They're actually caterpillars. See how they move? They inch a little bit closer and closer together. Eel moths, they start with an eye, have patterns in their wings that scare animals away that'll eat them. Animals that eat other animals are called predators. Oh, my J friends, Jacob and Julian, take a look. This is called a jewel beetle. Ooh, they come in very bright colors like green and blue and orange and even purple. Also, a June bug. June bugs hide during the day, but at night they eat plants and flowers. Oh, my letter K. Caddy did. Caddy did rub their wings together like crickets do. Their noise makes the sounds like their name. Caddy did, caddy didn't, caddy did, caddy didn't. Oh my goodness, how silly. They kind of look like grasshoppers too. Oh, keeled tree toppers. Oh my goodness, what do those look like? Yeah, 
yeah, they look like leaves. That's how they hide or they disguise themselves from the animals that are going to eat them. You have an L for ladybugs. Ladybugs, not all of them have the same number of spots. Some have no spots at all. And then there's a leaf hopper. Leaf hoppers have special mouths shaped like straws. All leaf hoppers eat tree sap. So they eat the sticky stuff inside the trees. M for mantis. Mantises use their two front legs to catch their food. They can eat insects and frogs and other mantises too. They eat like a lot of different food. Moths. At night, moths can be spotted flying around lights. The atlas moth is the biggest moth. N. The letter N is for a narcissus bulb fly. Bulb flies look like bees, but they do not sting. Ooh. They look very cool. I wouldn't try to touch them though, would you? I don't know. It looks like a it looks like a bee. I don't want to make a mistake. Then there's the O. O in O is for orange tip butterfly. Only male orange tip butterflies have orange on their wings. The females have white wings. Oh, see? And there's also an Oregon swallowtail. That's also a butterfly and it drinks the nectar. This butterfly is the state insect of Oregon. Very beautiful. The letter P. The letter P is for painted butterfly, painted lady butterfly. The painted lady butterfly are known for their colorful wings. They migrate or they they travel from North America, North Africa to Europe every summer. We talked about migrating yesterday where they go for the warmer air. Q for queen butterfly. Female queen butterflies lay on eggs on milkweed, laid eggs on milkweed plants. When their eggs hatch, the baby caterpillars eat the plant's leaves. They also have a question mark butterfly. They get the, their name from the shape of their wings. The front set of the wings form a shape of a question mark. If you wanna know what a question mark looks like, watch my finger, it goes like this. And usually a dot at the end. Oh, Reagan, it's R. R for red imported fire ants. Red imported fire ants can sting. Their sting can be very painful. It could give you a boo-boo. Usually these ants sting animals. Rhinoceros beetles also start with an R. They are some of the strongest insects on the planet. And they're also some of the largest. Then you have an S. S for scorpion. These are scorpions. Scorpions have poisonous stingers. And then you've got some spiders over here. Spiders have eight legs, but not all of them make a webs. A spider's web is used to catch their prey or other insects that they're going to eat. T for tarantula. Tarantulas are big, hairy spiders. Unlike spiders, they don't make webs. They, use, they live in trees or underground. But don't worry, there's no tarantulas that live by us unless you have them as a pet. Do any of you have a pant pet tarantula? Here is a tick. Most ticks live in the woods or on fields. Has the mommy and daddy ever taken care of a tick on you before? They like to bite but we wanna make sure that we wear our pants outside in long grass so that we stay away from them, okay? Umbrella wasp. Umbrella wasps get their name for the shape of their nests. Their nests look like upside down umbrellas. Nests are their homes. See these cones? They live in there. V for a velvet mite. They are known for their bright color and their bodies are covered in tiny hairs. 
And a V is also for viscerae butterfly. They're often called, they're the people think that they're the monarch butterflies, but they're not. They have black and orange wings. W for wasp. Some wasps are yellow and black, but they are not bees. Their nests can have 100,000 wasps in there. That's so many, you could barely count them. And water striders are, have special long legs that let them walk on top of water. Wow. X for Xerxes, blue butterflies. They have not been around, they're all gone, but they're beautiful to look at for their bright blue wings. We like to look at pictures of them. Then Y for yellow crane fly. Oh, look at those yellow crane flies. They drink only water, not blood. They look like mosquitoes though, don't they? They only drink water and they have very long legs. And a yellow jacket wasp, we see them around a lot. They like to eat other insects and sugary food. Those are the, the wasps that like to come around when you're eating outside in the summertime. Then you have a zebra spider. Zebra spiders are a jumping spider. They jump on their food, but they don't build any webs. Do you see with zebra, they have a black and white and black and white. And then there's also a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Those have black striped wings and like also have long tails like the zebras over here. Bugs come in all shapes and sizes from A to Z. There are even more fun bug facts just waiting around to be found. All right, see you later.